Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I'm currently going to deal with some things in Deep Scorn Hollow, and, you know, a thought occurred to me. There is a shrine in Deep Scorn Hollow that gives bonuses based on your infamy, and I think I qualify for the top-end bonus, so I may have to hit that. Just give me a moment. So, first I'm going to go grab that bonus, go to the Deep Scorn Bastion, which should have... I think it's in the Deep Scorn Bastion. There's the shrine. So I should have a shrine of Sithis in here, which I, I should have been using this all this time. Icker Basin, may the shadows embrace you. It gives me a bonus, and what is that bonus? That bonus gives me, and I will take a look at it real quick... Okay. It looks like I get... Um, fortify Agility. Five to Agility from that. Um, what's Cruelty's Heart? Well, there's uh, 20... Fortify 20 from uh, Health from Lament of Sithis. Um, so you have 20 Health... 5 Agility, 10 Sneak. Um, yeah, it looks like you get a f fair little bonus there, so that should be worth my while getting in there to do. Anyway, let me go uh, Let me go rest in my bed and boost my... Uh, get my level up in. Or should I say, my coffin. There you go. Just one hour. Don't want to rest all night. Once again, we've got kind of kind of low uh, low boost, but that's what happens when you don't min max the game. Now, here's the thing: before I continue onward, we've got more Oblivion gates to get to. Uh, I did clear out my inventory a bit, so I've cleared up some space. Not as much as I would have liked, though. I think I should probably drop some stuff off in here, in my nice, neat. Uh, uh, collection of stuff. So give me give me one more second. I keep breaking, you know, breaking it out, but uh, I, I got I got to get some space here. So give me a sec. Well, that was unexpected. The I, I put a bunch of stuff in my dresser just now in, in in this stronghold, but the vast majority of weight was just in stuff that I picked up uh, in terms of in terms of alchemical reagents. So there is that. Um, anyway. With that having been said, let's go off to our next major uh, major goal here. I suspect that's going to be another another Oblivion Gate. Going to leave my vampirism on full display. What do we got here? So we've done Breville. And, no, we have not done Breville. We've done Leowin, but we have not done Breville. So I need to go to Castle Breville. Well, here we are in Breville. Let's go ahead and pick up the, uh... The assistants. Oh, man. Wait a minute, I thought we did reveal. Oh, that was Leowin. Okay. Alright, well, let's, let's wait for Breville to open up. All right. Well, he's he's coming along down the steps. How are you? Hello. Regulus Terentius, Count Breville. Yeah, I need aid for Brema. I wish I could help. But with and an, an oblivion ob gate, yes. Uh, I'm not gonna Good wait day. for him to state it. I know what's, I know what's up. There's an oblivion <clears throat> gate, and I am, I am just taking a beating. So what I'm gonna do Hurry is up. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait in here till nightfall. What this guy running for? All right, I guess they're just jogging. Time to go out to the Oblivion Gate, and it's just outside. I think I I <gasps> literally already took a look there. If if I have done this before in my last episode, it's probably because I had to reload a little bit, because I stepped out into the daytime a while back. And um, you know what? Before I head out, let me, let me check the uh, check check the the night mother. 
All right, got my this information got my Lucy, job from the the night mother. So that the will of Sethus may be fulfilled. And I'll be sure to turn it in on uh, on the way. But first, we got an oblivion gate to take care of, and I still haven't repaired all my stuff. But that's okay because I am going to switch weapons to something with a little bit more health. There we go, ebony blade. And uh, we'll we'll get this thing done. There's the Oblivion Gate in all of its glory. And since I am a vampire, I will be able to sneak right on up in there. Let's go the long way around. I, I see another uh, spider. A spider, Deidre. But I don't really need to deal with that, do I? I should be able to just go into the gate. Once again, stealth mode, try to get this done as fast as possible. I see one, two, three, three spires, one set of gates. Uh, I guess how it's supposed to be is I'm supposed to go up the spires um, and then through the gates. What's actually going to happen is I'm going to attempt to bypass the gates. Jump and... Uh, come on, there we go. And that's why they call me a damn ninja. Gotta go up this spire. I mean, oh crap, I got spotted. You! You need to go down. There we go. And, I, and I'm going to continue to take Deidre's stuff just because it does make for uh, for really nice uh, alchemical stuff. Also, I discovered that um, one of the sigil stones I have has spell absorption on it, so that might be worth looking into later, too. I'm going to go ahead and try and sneak past here once again. Just try to get this done real quick. Evade what I can, fight what I must. The thief's way. Alright, where's... Where's the next up? Is it over here? Oh, crap, he saw me! In a room full of people! Crap, there's another one that saw me. Alright, let's, uh... That one's actually got... Some sort of chameleon on him, so I'm gonna... I'm going to take advantage of this health thing. And you need to go down. Casters first. Where's the caster going? Where are you going? Come on. There we go. One of them down. And I'm still taking all kinds of damage. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Come on. I gotta keep that heal going on. Why did I sheath my weapon? Just randomly sheath my weapon for no reason. Yeah, whatever, dude. No, I got stunned. Yeah, this guy's actually got some combat skills, so I, I gotta be careful here. Come on, dude. Oh, wait, there's another guy here. There's like an invisible guy. There. Wow, okay. He's not invisible, he's just got a particularly high uh, chameleon. I'm just trying to boost my health. That's the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm kiting these guys around. Ah, here we go. That'll help. Don't need you, I need the other guy. Let's take this one down. Where is he? Okay, here we go. Got an after him. I don't even know who this guy is. There we go. He has a base ring of shadows which gives you 20% chameleon. That will boost my chameleon overall upwards. So I am going to probably use it. See how high I can get my chameleon without, without really going over the world here. Come on, boost him a, boost him a block. Yeah. 
There we go. Back to stealth mode. Well, of course, I'm going to repair, so give me a sec. What's funny is I don't even need to drop anything now because, uh... Because I actually have enough to carry that all. <laughs> Where's the other corpse? Here we go. Ah, that didn't need repaired. Alright. Worth a quick save? Worth a quick save. Ah, uh, let me let me take a look at my bands though. Let me let me take a look at my rings. I've got the black band, which gives resist magic and a little bit of fortifies that I could use. And I've got the uh, the ring of Khajiit, which gives you 35% chameleon. I'm gonna take that black band off right now. I'm going to put the base ring of shadows on. And that'll boost my chameleon to like 50%. Let's see if it makes a huge difference. I really don't want to go the full 100% chameleon route. Although it would be hilarious. But I don't mind short, short of that. So... Going up to the gore steeple. Just got to go... Continue going upwards. Is this going the right way, or is this just going down? There's that red... The red roof is over me. So I'm almost at the top. Where I need to go is probably right in this door right here. Sigilum Sanguis, right there. Once again, real quick through this particular uh, tower, and we should be good to go. Not going to fight much. Just going to run up, grab the Sigil Stone, and be gone. I might, I might loot a, loot the punished. Ah, there's people there. How effective is my, uh, is my chameleon? Pretty effective. So you don't need 100% chameleon to be a good sneak. Alright, how is this going to work? Is this going to work? Alright, it's working so far. And here we go. And another one down. Transcended Sigil Stone. Yeah, 100% Chameleon is kinda... kinda BS. Cause nothing can see you. I mean, they can still range you down. I just need to get out of here now. I'm actually really enjoying my setup right now. I mean, I don't know. Leave a comment below if this is still relatively relatively recent and you uh, want to see me try to work towards 100 Chameleon. I mean, if you're watching this in like 2020 or 2024 or whatever, uh, you know, it'll have been up for years by then. I still get comments on some of my old play Let's Plays like I'm still doing them. Which is okay. I, I appreciate the ones that give helpful information that I never actually understood through the entire playthrough because that lets other viewers, which is the important part, other viewers know where I made a mistake. And that is very useful. That's extraordinarily useful. Um, but when somebody is commenting on something I did back in 2016 and being like, oh no, you need you, you do this next. And I'm like... I'm like, man, I did that like two, three years ago now. I, I, I don't know how to break it to you. It's all good, though. It's all good. I have actually learned stuff from people that posted comments. Like, I know this was a while ago, but you should do whatever. And those kinds of comments I actually uh, have learned quite a bit about uh, certain games. Anyway, let's go inside. Let's turn this in. At least I'm I'm presuming that we can turn this in. Oh, where's the count? Where's the count? Ah, uh, here's the count. No, no, stay away from me. Um. Oh. Uh, what happened there? What happened there? What the hell? 
Is he unable to see? Get back, you filthy beast! Oh, it's because my vampirism advanced too much. Tell you what. That's okay, though, because you know what? We have powers for just this sort of effect. There we go. I'm gonna quick save before I use it, just in case. Be like, be like, come to me. All right. Get back, you filthy! Oh my god. Get back, you filthy! All right. Um. I gotta get to. I got. I gotta get this vampires and stuff taken care of. Ha! Oh no! Oh no! It all broke down. Okay, give me a second. My only regret is that you can't just downgrade the vampirism one step. You have to do all or nothing. At least I'm hoping that's what was causing all that. If it's just because my infamy is now so high, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Well, there's my dark minion back. Okay. Normal vampirism. Let me go check. There's my dark minion. Welcome back home, bro. Welcome back home. I need to get me a follower. There's some perfectly good followers in the Dark Brotherhood. The only thing I the only reason I haven't so far is because uh, I'm loving this stealth run. Alright, so what do we got here? Putting everything in the chest. And... Well, glass warhammer. Wow, that weighs a lot. At your si Yeah, go murder in yes. the name of Sithis. Infamy boosts! And I need to visit the shrine on my way out. I don't know if it's helpful. Is it helpful? Maybe. Back to Breville. And, of course, he ain't here. Which means my shrine's blessing is is worth almost worthless unless I know that I'm going to go on a mission right away. Alright, 8 in the morning. Where's the count? Why do you bother me? It was you that closed that oblivion gate, wasn't it? Yes, that now you can talk to me. Thing to do. All right, aid for Bruma. Thank you for closing the Oblivion Gate that All was right. threatening Breville. Only a couple more towns to go. I send my guard captain, Viera Laris, to Bruma's aid. Hey, appreciate it, my man. We'll see. Oh, that's not bad. When I'm not a raving vampire, um, they treat me better. I miss being able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, but what can you do? All right, what's next? I've done Coral, so the only thing left is Shaden Hall and the Imperial City. So, Shaden Hall next. Although I will say that Shaden Hall, I think, has a more in-depth quest. Castle Shaden Hall. All right. He's quite an accomplished brawler. Hey, Count. I wonder if he. I don't you? have time to chat right now. Yeah, aid for Bruma. My first responsibility is to the people with an open oblivion. I will go ahead and close the oblivion gate. Not a problem. Just Hell go not. away, dude. I am working on it. These people, man. These people. You know, interestingly enough, Shade Hall Sanctuary is right here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop in and conduct my business there. Then I'm gonna go out and deal with the Oblivion Gate. All right, got my Under pittance of gold. It's only 200 gold. You know, there are some serious discrepancies between the uh, the amount of money you get from each of these strongholds. Another thing I need to do before I leave is repair stuff because I'm I still have not boosted my repair up to the appropriate level, and I've still got some stuff to sell. So. Uh, Wow, conducting business, I guess. Jump. Um, I want to see. Can I jump over the whole thing? Jump. Oh wait. Jump. Jump. I'm not. I'm not hitting jump before I go off the edge. 
jump. It's weird. It's like I can't jump on a downward slope. All right, now all that's out of the way. Off to deal with an oblivion gate again. I gotta be more careful because I have less stealth now because I'm no longer the uh, the hardcore vampire I was. I am not the vampire I once was. So I'm gonna go up this hill. Approach it this way. I found the Knights of the Thorn Lodge. Isn't that a quest where you get to like deal with the Knights of the Thorn? I've come upon an Oblivion Gate dominating the landscape outside the walls of Shaden Hall. A few Shaden Hall guards seem to be patrolling the perimeter. Um. Okay, let's let's assist these guards then. I guess this one's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, let's deal with this. Okay, let me grab that blood grass. Or not. Yo, I'd advise you to keep your. All right, what about the oblivion Haven't gate? Haven't you heard about these? Uh, yes, I have. Well, then you know what they're capable of producing. Although nothing has come through ever since Farwell entered. Okay, what's going on with Farwell? Count. Oh, no. Farwell. About two days ago, Count Indaris's son, Farwell, entered the oh, oblivion this is nice. gate with six other men. I get men. to rescue the Count's son. I guess. From them since then. Which kind of actually sucks, because then I have burst, actual quests to do. And his oh, posted well. guards here so we oh, can well. watch and see if anyone comes back out. And so far, nothing. Well, I'm going to go inside, man. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son from inside the gate. Sounds like or something I can do. Confirmed news of his demise. It's going to be a longer one, then. Not a problem. If you find him, or the rest of the Knights of the Thorn, get them out of there. I'm sure the Count would also be pleased that the <laughs> gate was closed. Yeah. Okay, well... Two days. And nary a word. Actual quest time, then. Uh, Alright, well, let's let's see what, what, what I can do about the Count's son, shall we? Well, there's a fallen Knight of the Thorn. Gotta do this a little bit more uh, more thoroughly than my prior ones. Hopefully, it's not a huge plane of. Hopefully, it's not a huge pocket. Well, something fell down. All right, what do we got here? I see life ahead. Backstab and backstab and backstab. Too easy. I get lots of spittle sticks. All this stuff to make nice poison. That's a good part. That's the good part about the Oblivion Gates. Still not seeing any more Knights of the Thorn. I gotta stop, stop looting all that. Oh, a storm atronach. No, wait, that's the same one I just killed, isn't it? Yeah, that's just a piece of it. Wait, what? What's going on here? There's a, another creature up there. This is a little bit disconcerting because this is not how I like approaching these. Backstab, front stab. There we go. Could have been worse. Go grab this Harada. I guess I'm heading up. Wait, what? What just got me? Oh, the Harada. That's what got me. I gotta pay more attention to where I'm going. Man, this place is unstable. God, I gotta go through the tunnels, don't I? Into the bowels. 
Well, there is good news in that, uh, there is good news in that um, it looks like there wasn't much in way of shortcuts to begin with. Although that there looks like a, a one-way drop. Yeah, I'll take that. I should have I should have repaired that one fallen knight's uh, stuff. My bad. I got to deal with that thing. Got to go the slow way on this. Ouch. Harado, how to, how to get your ass kicked without even, you know, taking a look at anything. Okay, wh what's this guy, what this guy going doing? Oh, it's because he keeps walking into the Harada. That's funny. I'll grab it. And is he just going to stand there? But he's looking at me. That's the problem. Alright, thank you. Backstab. Front stab. Alright, what just aggroed on me? Got something aggroed on me. I think it's downstairs. I've already looted that. So wait a minute, I gotta go down the hole? Another fallen knight of the thorn. Oh, there's nothing to repa repair. That's why. Ow! Yeah, let's deal with this. I hate having to pause and just deal with these things. I guess that's the that's the uh, price of not being full on vampire. Alas, but the guy wouldn't talk to me otherwise. That's that's so unfortunate. And yeah, that means I just descended this area. You know, I think I've got enough blood grass for a while. I still need Harada root though. I say as I go about collecting about a zillion bloodgrass samples. Ah, <sighs> this is one of those longer ones. But fortunately, there's only one more mandatory one, at least that I know of. After this, ow! Yeah, dude. Ah, I got a loading area. And backstab. And backstab. And another well, a footstab. Okay. That works. Sure, why not? Oh no, okay. Phew. Thought I got stuck there for a moment. That would have sucked. I say as I quickly quick save. Save early, save often. I think I'm up on top of something at this point. Because this is not a road, this is like a roof. Alright, there's a spider thing. Oh, there's one of those guys. And a dead knight. Backstab. Oh, he's looking at me. I'll take this one down. And now you. Help. Help. Low health. Ah, low health. Low health. Ow, stop it. Oh no. My health. Ow, stop it! There we go. Phew! Alright, I need to boost my health, and who this is? Another Fallen Knight of the Thorn. And a Zivili. Get to repair that Claymore. Alright. 
All right, so that goes inside. I guess I gotta go over there. See what is inside this this more tunnels. Crap. And I really have to get my health up. I don't even have the right freaking thing. Yeah, I've got heal minor wounds. Let's get uh Let's get Night Mother's caress up there. It's a little slower to use, but it is a little faster to heal. Alright, much better. Well, since we're probably going to have an escort, let's... Oh, what the fuck was that? You just just, just repeat sneak attacking that guy. That was like a, a mucus came up from the ground. What even was that? Is this entire place alive? And there's the spider. Come on, backstab. And one more, one more. There we go. Oh no, I aggroed something else. What did I aggro? What's aggroed on me? Why am I still in combat? Well, something's aggroed on me. I don't think it can see me. Oh, it's another spider and a Deadroth. Who really wants to come up and, like, say hi. Will they ever go their own way? Is he just gonna come just repeatedly aggro on me here? Ah, oh, I landed on one. What the hell? Come on. Let me take one of them out. And now you. Yeah, whatever. Getting all angry like some sort of weird, messed up humanoid crocodile. Yeah, I'm 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 getting stunned too much. No. I am thoroughly stunned. See, it's, it's that stun that just gets me. Ah! Ah, I pushed it too far. I... Oh, crap. She turned around and saw me. Or she didn't see me. Turned around just as I went up to backstab her. I'm going to try this again, except this time I'm going to try not to land on that other one. Go on, turn around. There we go. Backstab. And she sees me. She sees me, my, my, uh... My, uh, chameleon is not high enough. Either that, the mix of the chameleon... What the hell? What the hell? Holy shit, okay. Either that or the mix of my stealth and such, plus chameleon isn't high enough. That's okay, because what I've got... Is a bow with some arrows. Right, what should I be able to get down here? There we go. Okay, come on, dude. Why can I not get sneak attack? I mean, he can see me, I guess, but he's not seeing me at the same time. See, I got sneak attack that time. I guess sometimes I can get sneak attack and sometimes I can't. There we go. I got two of them back. 
let's get going on the next area. I feel like I gotta clean this place out so that I don't get anybody getting pulling up behind me. Come on. Grab these before he falls in that lava. Sploosh. He's just gonna cook there for a while. To the realm of oblivion, but here's the thing, I I really should take this thing out just in case I got an escort quest later. Alright, well there's nobody else in here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go full on on this one. Go on. Oh my god! She wasn't even taking any damage the last couple hits. And is this just another lava thing? Yeah, there's just nothing but lava down there. I feel sorry for anybody that just jumped down there thinking it's going to be another another level down. Okay, where's the door? I know I saw a door around here. There we go. And auto-saved. Wait, what? I've located Farwell and one other survivor of his group. They look wounded and shaken. I sp should speak to them and learn what's happened here. It's about time someone. Oh got my here. god. What took you so long? Dude. I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. Don't tell I me he's going to come. To kill traps he's he's, he's going to rush in but they after just me. Kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. Yeah, that would that kind of sucks to be you guys. You here now. We can take the sigil stone. How about you wait here and, complete and I'll go get it. For the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! All right, let's get you out of Are here. Are you mad? A knight of the thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Well, then let me finish the now, mission for you. In my father's name, as Count Indoris of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. Oh fuck, escort quest. I suggest we use the Raymond sweep formation. You'll assault, and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward. I hope Huzzah! this means that you're not going to rush it. Okay, yeah. I'll Guard assault you guys guards at the real flank, or the rear flank, quote unquote. Yeah, I need you guys to stay even further back. There's another dead dude in completely undamaged armor. Yeah, can you guys like wait here? Lead on. That guy knows better. Look, he's not coming. Oh, fuck, he is coming. No! You guys are gonna fuck it up for me. Come on. There we go. And I'll grab those, and then back to deal with that guy. God damn it! Stop it! I don't want to. You guys were supposed to guard the flank. Damn it! Not come in after me. This is going to be a clusterfuck. I got to watch my language. So apparently there's been new information on how things get demonetized now. And I got to be I got to be honest, not a lot of my actual gameplay has been demonetized even though I am rather free on the curse words on occasion. Um but uh the weirdest stuff does get demonetized. Not as much as it used to be. They, they, they've got a lot better than that. But sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder because some of the videos now look in some of the guidelines that have been pieced together. Some of the things that some of the videos I make really probably should be demonetized just because I'm sitting here like cursing at my own uh, incompetence. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. Yeah, come on. There we go. Yay, Daedric stuff. I'm actually glad I can I can 
I can take some of it with me now. I have to edit that out. Uh, a train just passed by as I was talking and I didn't notice it. I'm actually kind of glad I can take some of this with me now because I have bills to pay. Yeah, I gotta drop the ebony battle axe. Woo! Alright, let's go in. Even though I hate this part because these NPCs are gonna get themselves killed. I'm telling you. Actually, uh, it is getting close to time. I will do, like, one more battle here. But it is legitimately close to time to uh, cut it and go on to the next one. So as soon as these battles are done, I will... I will probably have to call it after this particular little floor is done here. Uh, you... You guys need to go down. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. And I can't even kite because I've got... I've got people I need to guard. Actually, these... These guys are actually pretty rough. As long as I tank for them, they are, they're able to take these things down. Come on, come on. Oh, they're barely able to impact that one. Oh. Dude! I accept your surrender, my friend. Oh my god, where are they going? Yeah, I yielded because that was ridiculous. Where are they attacking now? And, um... Why should I care? I'm still in combat. I don't know why I'm looking down here to repair. Yeah. Tell you what. I'm going to drop some stuff on the ground. I'm going to drop the, the fully repaired stuff on the ground. Alright, now where... What the hell's going on? Why are, the, why are these guys come over here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. They're doing the whole thing. No, this is... Oh, my God. They ran in here. Alright, tell you what. I'm actually going to call it here. We're probably going to reload from outside. This has been the RPG Crawler with my Let's Play of Oblivion... If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content, both tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye.